Hi everyone. Welcome to Max Art Place. So nice to see you all again. Ha ha, you think I can see through the phone? Just fooling. Before I get started with today's experiment, I was going to show you a couple of things I was messing around with on some of my previous endeavors. The last thing that I did, I think, was this uh, album uh, that I'm going to make a clock out of. And I have put some water droplets on it. I don't know whether I'm extremely happy with the colors. But, you know, this is experimenting. And I have quite a few more records. They're very inexpensive at the thrift store. And the other thing that I did was that Super Squiggles. Well, I didn't like the middle of my Super Squiggles, so I have Hammerhead School of Sharks in my Super Squiggles. And if somebody likes Hammerhead Sharks, maybe they'll like this painting. And as you can see up close, there's all kinds of swirls and interesting things to look at, like water swirling around. Phone probably doesn't pick it up as well as a camera or being closer. And I thought, yeah, it looks like water. Let me do something that swims in the water. Don't ask me why I pick sharks. Today, I'm going to uh, experiment with Mies Painting's poor medium that she does. So, I've mixed it up. I don't know how it'll work. She uses um, Floetrol, glue, Liquitex poor medium, and water. So, I halved her uh, concoction. So I have four ounces of Floetrol, four ounces of Elmer's glue, two ounces of Liquitex pouring medium, and one ounce of water. And the paints I'm using today, the um, first thing I'm going to lay down is a Walmart flat white with Floetrol in it. And in the cup, I also mixed some pearl essence medium in this white that I'm going to mix in with the colors. I'm also using Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 ounce gold. I may or may not use some of these colors that are mixed up, but I'm letting you know the colors that I have mixed up with this pouring medium uh, and I'll feel what I want to put in the cup. So I'm using Arteza Electric Blue, Arteza Pearl Copper Gold, Arteza Pearl Golden Hour, Art, uh, per, uh, Arteza's Pearl Magenta, and primary elements, meridian blue, Arteza's silver, or Arteza if someone calls it that, and, and I know I can never pronounce this correctly, uh, Tell, Tellier, Wayne Brilliant. Uh, and I added some of the pearl essence into that as it's the only one that wasn't a um, metallic or a shimmer paint. I've also added a few drops of Nick Pro acrylic pouring oil, pour a pure silicone, a couple drops into each cup except for the white. So, uh, what I'm going to do is put these colors in a cup and pour it on the canvas here and see what comes out. Hopefully, it'll be something that I'm thrilled about. And I hope you're thrilled about it as well. So, 
Pretty soon, you'll be seeing the experiment. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. I have used push pins on the bottom. I have taped the bottom. And I'm also repurposing this. I have wet the back of the canvas as I've seen some others do to try and tighten it up. So it's, I've had one small canvas I was working on and uh, and the, my, I thought maybe my paints were too thick, but they weren't. But because it was sloped slightly in the center, it cracked around the outside. So I want to avoid that. Here is my cup. And we'll have to get a feel for what colors I want to use. I have a very small table here. I hope this doesn't fall on the floor. But I found this in the store, in the trash, but don't tell anybody. And uh, I thought this would be neat to hold my cups of paint so I don't spill them all over the place. And so um, that's what I did. So we're gonna use a little bit of the white. And I'm going to use a little bit of this blue. Now, if I put it back in there, it'll get that all dirty. And some silver. I have never used glue before, so I'm hoping um, that it comes out all right. I, I'm not sure. It's like a different consistency of what I'm used to with my paints. Um, a little bit of white and some of this gold and some of this I don't want to put them back into my holder here as I'll get paint on them and then if this holder is such a wonderful idea I won't be able to use it anymore because there's paint all over it so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, a little bit of this. And some more white. And some of this golden hour. And that'll look good with this blue. And this other blue, oopsie daisy, and some silver. I think this is about a nine ounce cup. I was uh, mixing paint all morning and um, I guess I was too lazy to figure out how many ounces of paint I needed for this canvas. I usually do that prior, uh, but I didn't this time. So I'm just going to fill up this nine ounce cup as uh, far as I think I should. No, I've never done anything with gold and silver one right after the other. Who knows, it may turn out nicely. Sometimes you never know the way things are going to go. And this looks like it'll look good on top of that color. And this would go good on top of that color. 
And I really think I have enough paint. I'll do a little bit more white. And I'm going to put these colors back in my little carrying case and get them out of the way. <clears throat> Probably I could have done that firsthand because I'm going to get paints over them anyway. This is really a pretty blue. Wipe my hands off a little bit. And be, I'm going to pour like some of this white in the middle. Curious to see what this glue does. I'll save some of that for the outside. And this is where I poured it in from. So we're just going to slowly pour. And there's my cup. I think I'll put it on top of this one here. Just made a big mess. Of course, this is a big mess anyway. this and pour it around the outside. If I don't have enough of this, I can take some of the flat white that I have. I think this was a seven ounce cup. So I started out with that almost full, with just white. And 
and I better torch that as well. Give it a stretch. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'll be stretching right into that. A little bit that way. This way. I'm gonna use my squiggly wiggly tool on this, but I don't think I'll go as crazily squigglies with it as I did before. But I think this needs something. I don't particularly like all that white in the center. It's too much white. Maybe if I Tilt them off that way. Go back towards the middle.
something in there. So we will get my First, I think I'll Kind of looks like a squid or something. Not much going on over here. Well, I think this kind of looks like the sand part of the beach and the water moving in. I think I'm going to leave it like it is without uh, messing with my squiggly tool. We'll see what happens with that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please share and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you for subscribing and all of that nice stuff. And I really appreciate your support and uh, my email and other things will be down in the description box. It's down there or down there one or the other and I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration thank you very much bye bye for now